The Malatakun was a tribe of native Mudokuns that you may not have heard of before. Unlike the Mudomo and Mudanchi tribes that are very prevalent in the Odd World series, the Malatakun have only been mentioned in external media. The reason for this is likely their very different nature from the other tribes. Whereas the Mudomo, who worshipped the Paramites, and especially the Mudanshi, that revered the scrabs, produced fearsome warriors, and had strong culture and traditions, the Malatakun were slightly more laid back, and would likely have been considered the black sheep of the tribes. It's believed that they once lived in the deep south of the continent of Mudos, but their relaxed attitude is thought to have caused them to go extinct. Well, this is according to an article in the industrialist newspaper The Daily Deception that Oddworld Inhabitants published in 2002. The article, which includes a picture of a supposed member of the tribe, states, This photo was found in a cavernous location near Necrum. Elders speculate that it may be a vintage portrait from the deep southern region of Mudos, where the Malatakun tribes were once prolific. Though most Mudokan tribes prefer the practicality of a ponytail, bun, or other headgear, the Molotokans preferred a more wild, rebellious, Molotus style. They took great pride in this style. It was a symbol of their infamous duality, having both unmatched business savvy and a disorderly party-like mentality. Various oils and berry juices were used to maintain the sheen of this prized feature. As the article suggests, the Malatakun were self-obsessed with their appearance, caring deeply and being very passionate about fashion, with mullets being all the rage among them, which is of course also where they get their name, a mixture of mullet and mudokun, Malatakun, which weirdly, even though that's like a joke, I genuinely think is one of the best names out of the mudokun tribes, Malatakun. Like, it just sounds like a genuine native kind of name or something. I just think it sounds fantastic. Although I did have trouble pronouncing it when I started recording this video. The mother hairstyle is also apparently a stereotypical haircut of the real world deep south of the United States of America. And considering the Molotokun are also said to be from the deep south of Mudos, it becomes apparent that they're basically like a parody of this stereotypical depiction of America's deep south which includes their rebelliousness and desire to be independent and different. And also, as the article continues, the Malatakun's insatiable thirst for brew and raucous tendencies created a volatile concoction that ultimately led to their demise. Basically, from what I gather, the Malatakun's were moonshiners, another southern stereotype, or did the same practices anyway. Moonshining, of course, being the practice of, like, home-brewing alcohol themselves in a still, like, illegally, often deep in wild forest locations to avoid detection. Which is also why they generally do it at night, which is where it gets its name from, moonshining. And also, I just realised, while they often do it for themselves, it's also very common for them to do it to then sell to other people. Which I think might be what the article was talking about when it said the Molotokans have unmatched business savvy. So I'm guessing this is suggesting that the Molotokans made their own brew, which in addition to drinking it themselves, they also sold to other people. Moonshining involves creating like big custom distilleries to produce the alcohol, and these things can be very dangerous and can explode if not handled carefully. I mean, its purpose is to create high-proof liquor, so of course that's pretty darn flammable. I'd assume, anyway. Now, the Molotokun's laid-back nature led to them being known as a Parthian tribe, taking any opportunity they can to partake in festivities and get drunk. Along with their parties came a legendary brew addiction, which explains why such a big part of their culture was making their own concoctions. So seemingly, my interpretation is that the drunkard nature of the Molotokans combined with them making more alcohol themselves with these big stills was not a particularly good combination, and they ended up accidentally blowing themselves to smithereens. The Malatakun were also associated with a particular animal, as is standard for Mudokan tribes, seemingly. In their case, it was the slogs, though whether it was in a form of reverence, like the Paramites and Scrabs were to their respective tribes, isn't clear. All that's known is that the Malatakun used to domesticate slogs. The article finishes off by saying, Hundreds upon hundreds of domestic, malnourished slogs. The Molotokun's loyal pets were left without masters when the tribe met its fate. 
It is hypothesized that this disappointing historical occurrence may have led to the frightening disposition of today's slogs. It's also been indicated that, just generally, the Molotokans being drunk most of the time led to them to neglect their slogs. Or that's another interpretation I've seen anyway. So the article suggests that the reason that slogs are so vicious, as we see in the Odd World games, is due to the Molotokans unintentionally neglecting them, causing them to become ill-tempered. Which also seems to indicate that slogs in general originate from South Mudos, if modern day slogs seemingly originate from the tribe's slogs. However, we need to keep in mind that this is an industrialist newspaper. It's generally said that slogs are so violent because of the brutal way the slogs raise them and mistreat them, in many cases likely on purpose to make them more vicious and better attack slogs. And consequently, it's very possible that this story in this newspaper may have been concocted by the Gluckens to cover up the animal abuse that's going on with the slogs within their facilities. It is literally called the Daily Deception, after all. It's reasonable that they would want to mislead their readers from suspecting what's really going on in the slog kennels. Some even came that the Molotokan were actually wiped out by an invasion of the Glucken forces, much like many of the Mudokan tribes were. And if they did have slogs, maybe that's why they ended up abandoned. But for all we know, the Molotokan don't even exist. Perhaps they're also propaganda from the Daily Deception. They're not exactly the most shining example of native Mudokans, drunkards that blew themselves up. It's quite a disparaging depiction. So it kind of makes sense that the Gluckens might have completely made this tribe up to portray the native Mudokans as being idiotic, lowlifes and that kind of thing. However, there's another twist to this. Can't seem to find a proper version of the newspaper as the archives seem incomplete. But even with this, it can be seen that seemingly, within this issue of the Daily Deception, the specific article that's about the Malatakuns was reported by FUD. Now, FUD TV was a news organisation, I believe, introduced in Oddworld Inhabitants' Abe's Exodus the Movie, which was basically where they cut together the cutscenes of Abe's Exodus into a movie. Pretty much what it says on the tin. But they also added in extra bits to make it make more sense without the gameplay, including these cutscenes with a Mudokan reporter from FUD TV. I always thought this was weird that the Mudokans had their own news TV and whatever, but you know they did it for the film so I understand. But the thing is, is the Mudokan is actively questioning what the Magog on the march is reporting, and questioning the Magog cartel. So they're clearly not under the thumb of the industrialists, seemingly. So when the article says, this photo was found in a cavernous location near Necrum, elders speculate that it may be a vintage portrait from the deep southern region of Mudos, where the Malatukan tribes were once prolific, presumably they're referring to elder Mudokans. So suddenly that quote carries weight. It suggests that the Molotokan tribes did exist and were very common in the Deep South, as the article claims. But then again, Mudos Deep South is an area that we haven't seen in the Oddworld games yet. It's a not yet readily explored part of the continent and as a result would be a good place to store misinformation. Oh yeah, there was once a tribe, they used to live in an area that we haven't been to yet, you know? And it's also interesting that this photo would somehow end up all the way in Necrum, presumably from the Deep South. So who knows, maybe the information is reliable, or maybe it isn't. But I kind of really like the way it isn't entirely clear. A Magog skeptic news organisation reporting within an industrialist newspaper. Can it be trusted? Who knows. And maybe that's the point. I kind of like this 1984 sort of concept where you can't really know for sure who's telling the truth and what's real and what isn't. I'm talking within the Odd World universe, of course, but either way, whether it should be taken as canon or not, or even seriously or not, because clearly it's just meant as a comedic piece in external Odd World media, it's a heck of a good story, and I was certainly fascinated when I first found out about the Molotokan tribe. Hello. Follow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 